Hi, today I'm going to show you how to replace a screen on a Dell Vostro 1500. The first thing you're going to want to do is remove the battery. Set that aside. The next thing you want to do open it up and there are six screws that are holding on just that so you can see six screws one two three four five and six that are holding on the bezel uh, they are covered by bumpers little rubber bumpers that are held on to the screw with adhesive so the first thing you would need to do is take a flathead screwdriver slip under the bumper and pop them off and that will expose the Phillips screw head. Uh, mine are already off so uh, I don't have to remove those but then the next step obviously is to remove the screws that hold the bezel in place. The next thing to do once the screws are out of the bezel is to take a flathead screwdriver, insert it into this little slot here, prying up, and you will be able to remove this cover piece here. Set that aside. Then the next thing you do is pry off the bezel itself. If you start at one side corner, put it under the edge of the bezel. You can slowly pry it up a little once you get it started. You can actually use your fingers to pull the bezel off. It's held on by uh, snaps. that comes off, set that aside. Then there are four screws on either side of your screen. They need to be removed. Now, once the four screws are out on either side, the next thing to do is up here, this one doesn't have a, a camera built into the top, but it does have a circuit board, and it's held on by two screws. I found this is the easiest way to do this, otherwise you're pulling this rib ribbon, ribbon cable out and it's a little difficult to get back in. This is just simply undoing two screws and you'll see what I mean here in a minute. So, I'm going to spin this back around so you can see what I'm doing. Now, taking the flathead screwdriver, lift up under the edge here, and the screen will lift up. Release that board. Now we're just going to lay this over, like so. 
and you can see here that this ribbon cable is still connected to this uh, camera card. Now, what we are going to do next is squeeze the little clips on either side of this 30 pin cable and pull the connector back. Just pops right off like that. Then down at the inverter, this just pulls vertically out of the inverter card and we're going to lay this back here for a moment while we get our new screen. There's the old one. That's now garbage. After you remove your new screen from the static bag, make sure to pull this film off the top it's taped on. It's good to lay that there as protector. And then we're just going to lay this right where the previous one was. Flip the cable back. Just let that hang there. And we're going to slide this 30 pin connector in it snaps and then down here the inverter this is a little tricky but it just drops right back down here there we go snaps in now what you do at this point is rotate the screen back into the lid. Make sure that card drops in. And these drop in nicely. And then it's just the reverse. when it comes to putting the screws back in. Once all the screws are in, rotate this around. We set aside our plastic film. I take the bezel. Now in this case there are these two cupped pieces that have to fit in the little trough on either side. The thing is to get those in first lined up and then everything else snaps in place. Across the bottom. We put in the six screws that hold the bezel down. We turn this plate across the top. You'll notice one end, the left side, has little tabs. Make sure to insert those underneath on this side, then slowly guide this plate down, pushing a little bit as you come across. There we go. Then we're going to flip the unit over, put the battery pack back in. In this case the battery's charged, so I will show you here there we go we get the boot up of the PC with the new screen that's all there is to it